like the occasion occasionally it'll be like oh i want to watch this movie and i want to watch it in good quality so i'll whip out one of the blu-rays yeah i'll just download it in 720 720 yeah Psh, heathen <coughs> or 1080 it's all about 4k if you're, if you're going oh, ah, you need a 4k tv don't you no, you just put four TVs next to each other. <laughs> four thousand yeah. TVs next to each other. No, just just four ten eighty p TVs. That's what four K is. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I better go out and buy four. There we go. Just make sure they're all different sizes, though. Okay. What if I just buy a four K TV? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. That's the correct answer. Hello geeks and geekettes and welcome to another edition of the Geek Station podcast where we talk movies, TV shows, games and all things geeky. As always, I am Sin and I am joined by my co-hosts David and Martin. Say hello David and Martin. Hello David and Martin. It's me this week. Well, well done. What's up bitches? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just just he waiting wants to do for his it. New thing, doesn't he? Yeah, I um I also messed up the intro as well, but oh well, who cares? Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought I could do it without reading the script and then I realized that no, now I still need to read the script <laughs> after 22 episodes. So there we go. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> We've been doing this for a very long time, like almost 6 months. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. It? Yeah. So um how is everybody? Everyone good? I'm very, very well. Good. Pretty good. This is David's uh, penultimate day in the country. Yep. Although tomorrow is not really a full day it's like four hours of a day or yeah something. it's like seven hours yeah. of the day so mm. really this is your last full day in the country yay well, yeah good riddance no no last really. ever I'm, I'm really sad that you're leaving you're last ever day back. yeah i'm back on monday as well oh, okay. for yeah. two hours <laughs> yeah. and, then I, and i fly to america that, that's true you are yeah. yeah so um and then and then after that we'll be like doing some weird time travel shit yeah yeah, yeah. Like, as long, like i said last time don't spoil the future no we won't we won't although yeah try to well yeah we'll try I have to. a tendency to spoil things so that's true I you do actually that. yeah yeah can't trust um so uh we're talking about star wars the last jedi this week yeah uh, which we we've all seen in the last 24 48 hours yeah uh you saw it on thursday evening thursday evening at 8 20 sure was it was, was your cinema packed yeah it was, it was yeah I, I i mean ours was I don't think there was an empty seat anywhere. Really. Uh, the ones next no. to Jess were empty. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought oh. there were guys that sat next to her. No. no? Okay. Oh, wait, no, there might have been. I don't yeah. Know. I don't yeah, know. they it's came to my out. right. I'm no, blind she... in my right eye. So. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> no. oh. Um, but yeah, no, it was the first time I'd, I'd been to the cinema for a very long time where it had been Since completely... Blade Runner. I think Blade Runner was packed up for me. Uh, I don't know. I was right at the front in the recliner seats so I didn't so, yeah. see, but uh, yeah. Oh, dude, I went to... Disaster Artist and I got those recliner seats. Oh, yeah. It's too fucking close, though. Uh, well, You're a little bit like, I, I need to move yeah. my head. To yeah, you have to look things. left and right to but, be able to see yeah. stuff. But there's a, couple of, um, there's a couple of screens where the recliners are, are all the seats, so they go up to it. Yeah, and yeah. They're, they're, that's the studio. Yeah, that's yeah, what you want. That's the shit. You want to, like... You don't want to go to Cineworld, though. It's fucking... Going there is like, oh, wow, no, this new Odeon is... Super oh, good. in... Um, yeah. You went in Tower Park. Yeah. yeah, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's not great. No? No, the, 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 I have to say the the, the Odeon in, in town is very good. It's, I think, yeah, just because that's so uber modern, it's just like, you know, everything else is kind yeah, of Yeah, no, that's it, yeah. Oh, anyway, um, let's uh, not talk about cinemas. Let's talk Cinema about experiences. Uh, the news. Um, so I, I went through the news and uh, I found one bit of news from this week because the rest of it was all Star Wars related. And considering that we're talking about the film, um, I don't think we really needed to talk about speculation of the film and everything mm. that was going on. There was a few leaks this week, and it was all. Uh, but anyway, the big news. This is the this is the the epic news. I think this anyway. Is the, the that, merger. Yeah. That well, or takeover really. That Disney mm. have bought Fox's film and TV assets. They bought Rupert Mur- Murdoch's face. Uh, well, they've definitely given him a large sack of cash. That's yeah. for sure. Um, it, the, they now own forty percent of the movie productions and forty percent of the TV productions. Yeah, that's oh. yeah. They are. Yeah, they they. they so there were like. So they own eighty percent. That's how percentages work <laughs> yes it's, it's not how it's not how it actually works so in a deal reported to be something like 53 billion dollars plus yeah. the purchase of 16 billion dollars worth of fox's debt which i just think is just that's 16 crazy. billion dollars of debt. debt so the deal's Jesus. worth like 60 something. how much money did they lose from fantastic yeah, well, yeah, yeah yeah that's it yeah um but this is the news that disney have taken over so uh, obviously the the immediate um thing that springs to mind and we talked about this on the podcast is that 
Disney now have the rights to, um, well, Marvel, I should say, now have the rights back for Fantastic Four, all the villains, uh, the X Men, the X Men, um, and that's that's obviously incredibly exciting for the MCU. I hope, uh, what does it mean with their existing Fox universe then? So I think all the films that are it. already, sl- I mean, because the, the films are coming out next year, so I think they're okay. still going to happen. But things like the Gambit movie, for example, oh shit, yeah, that's probably not going to happen now. Yeah. <laughs> Which is just like after like almost ten years trying to get it made finally gets greenlit and then they sell the studio i just think that's brilliant i imagine it, there, there's part of the deal that's like things that are already greenlit and in pre-production I, well we ma- well maybe but if um if 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 the rights automatically transfer to marvel studios i mean obviously there's probably some corporate stuff going on they've probably going to go well in that case we're going to cancel all these films because we want to fit them into the mcu yeah i would think that. so i don't yeah, but they think don't, it just might be rewriting and stuff like well, that well maybe obviously it's yeah. gonna to have to go through their vetting process well that's it but i yeah. think i but i mean i don't know because obviously and then they've got to think well will channing tatum for example be a good fit for the mcu and yeah like they've got to decide all of that i so, would think they would want to do their own x-men thing well exactly going into a gambit thing anyway so yeah. that's probably yeah so i i i I, I can't see that happening but i mean we're we're still going to get obviously deadpool 2 uh next year and Mm. um the two x-men film that films are coming out but it's things like for example legion did you watch legion when it was on tv no i still need to watch i've seen the first episode yeah we we might not get a second series of that now um you know stuff things like that so i mean i I don't know it's it's interesting um Mm -hmm. but i'm just looking forward to the the future mcu films that we'll you know we'll start yeah. seeing in the next kind of five years. I'm just looking forward to the X Men. Like, yeah, X Men done a big deal. Yeah, completely recast, completely new ideas, and they'll have the Wolverine and the Avengers. That'll be cool. Oh, you know, the, yeah. I, I hope they make a f- uh, Fantastic Four movie. You haven't seen one of those in a while. No. <laughs> yeah, but it will be a good Fantastic Four yeah. movie. Yeah. Ho- hopefully, maybe it might, it might, it will still be terrible. Can you just imagine if it comes out and not even like Marvel can make a good Fantastic yeah. Four? Movie? Oh, that would be that, that would be the franchise. Yeah. Can you imagine, like? <laughs> But I mean, but it'll be good because I mean, like bad guys, iconic bad guys, like um, like Doctor Doom and stuff. You can now yeah, just yeah. have in the MCU, which yeah. and they'll fit perfectly. So, yeah, I'm I'm I mean, I'm I'm really excited about. Who do you reckon they'll cast as Reed Richards? Uh, Steve Carell. Steve. Steve okay. Yeah. All right. Brilliant. There we go. <laughs> John C. Riley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Um, so so yeah, and, and that's that is pretty much um, the the news for this week. Unless you guys have, have read or seen anything, um, I think literally that's about it. It's, it's all been Star Wars. They've they've Zelda won Game of the Year. Oh yeah, there was the oh, game, did. game of the Year. Shows. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Zelda won like three awards, I think. Oh yeah, it also oh, got yeah. some DLC as well mm-hmm. apparently. But I don't play Zelda, so I, yeah. Oh, Although dude, I, am, I can't wait to get a Switch. Are you? See, I'm, I'm going to get one, yeah. yeah I, I, I've been reading a lot of reviews recently about games for the Switch that have come out Indie this year. Indie titles on the Switch. Are yeah. Fucking booming and right and it does seem like... a Because I've never ha- really had a handheld console. Mm. Um, so I'm thinking that I might... I could I could get into that. And Zelda apparently is really good. It, so It is really, really good. Yeah. And I like RPGs, so yeah, I'd probably really yeah. enjoy it. It's, it's one of those games you just... You just Put it on and go. Like you don't even need to really follow the story. Just you know, it's have all fun about the exploring, isn't it? And, and explore and yeah. yeah, it's all about that. Um, but there's, I mean, there's there's a lot of good titles. I mean, as I said before, like snipper clippers, stuff, like or snipper, snipper clips. clips is, is pretty fun. Snipper but it's yeah. like clippers, snipper clips. I think it's called, isn't it? Snipper snipper clips. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where you have to snip each other out to make shapes. It's a sure fun sounds, party game. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm <it's even> more <laughs> confused. <laughs> I want to play Mario versus Rabbids, though. I want to play that. That looks, that good, looks yeah. awesome. Um, and they've been uh, advertising the fuck out of that game as well. Yeah, it's just like an interesting decision to make at this time of the year. I don't know why they wouldn't just push like Mario Odyssey or something. But I don't think I'll get the the uh, the new uh, Mario game, the the hat Odyssey. One. Od- Od- Odyssey. Yeah. It's very good. It's very good. I don't know. It just it seems like there's too much in it now. Well, the thing well, is, it's there's so much to do. You can just sort of. But a, clear the main game and then come back to it. Yeah, well, that's well, that's what I've heard though. So like you can, it's like it's got like sixty hours of gameplay, but yeah. the first ten, for example, are is, I think, the, yeah, is the story. Fifteen is like the main story. That's it. You and can the, clear it, and that. then the rest of it is all going back, replaying levels, collecting yeah. stuff. And I, yeah, yeah, and like that base kind of like difficulty curve is like it's pretty easy, but mm-hmm. like it's it's enjoyable and it's fulfilling. Okay. But then after that, the difficulty curve is like it ramps up massively, and I'm just there like. Where the fuck was this earlier in the oh, game? Like, I'm okay. really challenged. 
So yeah, so you're thinking you might get a Switch then? In yeah, the, man. Yeah, yeah, I can't nice. wait. Yeah. Don't make sure you buy a PC first. Yeah, they. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah good, good, yeah. good. Just making sure. Just yeah. making sure. <laughs> so you know, we that's going to be one of the first purchases we move into. So the we flat. can continue this wonderful podcast that we do on a, on a weekly basis. Set your priorities straight. Basically. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah, yeah. Geek well, I've first. got to ask Sin for my money to buy yeah. stuff. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my just, card has Sin. Here's your pocket money for this one. My card just has a picture of Sin. Just staring down his glasses at you with like a wide-eyed stare. Yeah. Jesus, that would be terrifying. That would be terrifying. Yeah, that would be. Anyway, um, so there we go. That was the news. Da 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 da. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> That's the uh, the jingle. So anyway, look. Let's. Um, I want to spend a, 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 a while talking about Star Wars because um, because it's obviously it's fresh in my mind. I saw it like well almost 12 hours ago we were walking out of the cinema so it's still like really really fresh so I want to talk about it got lots to talk about it would have been even closer to 12 hours ago if Martin wasn't coming back from Columbia this morning well that's true yeah yeah yeah. 100% true Martin the day that Martin is on time for the podcast is the day that hey I I am usually on time Mm. this guy Mm, he's pointing at me people. yeah no he yeah. is this yeah. guy, not, a, not me because yeah. I live, a thumb yeah, point like, you can't really be late to no, your own house I'm always here <laughs> yeah, that's right. I would like yeah. to see that actually. that'd be fucking hilarious <laughs> <laughs> what you just knock on the Turn door up yeah. his house yeah. like, I'm not there. 20 minutes later since like yeah, yeah I'll be there in a minute guys <laughs> yeah I'm just catching a train <laughs> yeah. from London yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two hours later oh I feel a bit sick yeah sorry I'm not I'm not, I'm not coming home I've got the sniffles this is like a week late guys fucking hell you weren't here when we did it that's right yeah you're never going to get over it I'm afraid sorry I will never get over it well no I'm never going to let you get over it okay that's, I don't know why never going to let you down <laughs> Never go- yeah, anyway. Right, around. let's talk about... Yes, let's it's talk like- about Star Wars The Last Jedi. So, Star Wars The Last Jedi, um, episode eight of yeah. the Star Wars saga, uh, directed by Ryan Johnson, um, director of Brick and Looper. And what was the third film? I always forget what the third film was. Looper. Lo- no, not... Oh, Brick. He didn't make... No, uh, he literally has only made those films. There's a, he made another... Th- there, was a, there was a third film he's oh, made. Oh, uh, uh, Looper. Looper. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Tooper. Uh, I just knew what it was. Uh, the uh, Brothers Bloom was, uh, okay. what, I was what? Uh, what I was thinking of. Oh. It's about so, flowers. Oh, I thought... No, I thought... Yeah, no, I was thinking of Brothers Grimm. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a different that's, film. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Well, who's that? That's like uh, Matt Damon and Heath Ledger or something. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah it is. Yeah. yeah, a really good film, actually. Never seen it. No, it's, it's definitely... Well, I don't know if it will hold it. It's quite old now, I think. I can't really... Years. I've watched it's it a long time ago. Yeah. 73 years old. It's not mm. not that old. But, oh, uh, 73 anyway. years. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, and it, Yeah, so uh, Star Wars was released on Thursday, um, and uh, it's got critical acclaim already. Um, already mm. boasts a rating of, I think, 93% on Rotten yeah. Tomatoes. From um, 232 reviews, uh, average Metacritic, Metacritic rating of 8.2 out of 10. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much been kind of greeted by uh, positivity. Mm. I haven't actually read anything really negative about it. Um, are we just going to go straight into spoilers? Let's go. Let's yeah, go. if you haven't, if, if you yeah, haven't seriously, seen, if you haven't seen it, you need to go and watch what it. Are you first. Doing You've got here? a ten-second warning, and go. Martin's <laughs> going to say the biggest spoiler there is. Snoke dies. You uh, didn't even that's get not ten, even ten seconds. seconds. <laughs> not I even. Ten, I don't even. I, not even like, ten seconds. I. I don't even know. Yes. Okay, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just went ten seconds. <laughs> Snoke dies. <laughs> Oh, that's not even 10 seconds. The thing is, I didn't even oh. think about that. I was just too excited to you're shout Literally, it. yeah. I'm not allowed to shout that To be fair, else. if you listen to a podcast about if The Last Jedi... Star Wars, then... Yeah, exactly. I'm, yeah. yeah. So I'm really sorry, but I'm also not sorry. Yeah. So, we could also be know. lying, but you're not going to know. That's right, unless you go and see the film. So go yeah. and see the film. Um, and Yoda's mm. in it as well. So yeah, go Yeah, but it. he does die. <laughs> <laughs> So um, okay, so uh, how do we want to do this? How do we want to talk about the this 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 Should film? Should we do it in reverse order? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Oh, okay, no, <laughs> that's not middle let's, out. Uh, yeah, we'll start in the middle, and then we'll just let's talk we'll just, about the characters. Let's talk about the characters. Well, let's just talk about how we've just felt about the film, I suppose. First of all, so like I came out of it thinking I, I, I'm still a bit unsure about how I feel about the film because it. It uh, it was uh, it was incredible. It was a really good film. It had some really amazing moments in it. The the space battle at the beginning was was incredible. In fact, any mm. any set piece battle I thought was was yeah, just yeah. incredible. Yeah, the fight with uh, Kylo Ren and Rey against the, uh, the oh. dudes in red. Oh, that yeah. was the the phenomenal. Patreon yeah. guards or whatever. The, the red the, background. The, oh, that was with, amazing. With, with the with while the the kind of the red. The, um, yeah, yeah. Sheet was like burning around yeah. them, and like oh, that was it. That so was incredible. Good. 
um and the the fight at the end on the planet was was really good as well yeah. it was just like the sith, sith bb8 sith the, BB-8. The, the little black yeah the little see, Fuck, I, I love that dude so in all the trailers i thought that they were gonna like make bb8 i thought they were gonna like infiltrate by, yeah, by making him dress up and then i didn't realize that it was yeah that yeah. so that was a nice little no, he just puts a nice little on twist his head. Um, I love. Yeah, just looked like a dog bowl rather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, um, so yeah, all the space battle bit was good. Um, I loved. I, I love just ed- anything to do with the first order because they've taken what was really sinister and dark about the the empire, and they've just like turned like the fascist dial up. Like, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, they did that in the first one when they're all when he's delivering the speech on Starkiller Base. Yeah. But like this one is just it just felt. Like that, that I can't remember the captain's name or the the commander's Hux. name. Hux, that's it. But he is, he's just like channeling like his inner Hitler, really. Isn't yeah, he? Like yeah. Constantly. I really, I really good. like the dynamic between him and Kylo Ren and the fact yeah. that they don't like each other because no. they they come from very different backgrounds. Yeah. Like he just doesn't believe in the Sith. He just thinks, yeah, to an extent, he thinks it, he's like, what's his one guy going to do? Well, it, it's 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 almost a bit like um the the uh, Moff Tarkin um and Vader, Vader relationship yeah. in in the New Hope. Yet there was always it, it seemed a bit more respectful in that it was like yeah. Moff Tarkin didn't really believe in it, but he also didn't was nowhere ever going to piss Vader off because yeah, he knew that yeah. he could just snap his neck. Whereas Hux is like. I just don't care. Yeah, I think we, as well that this has that sort of Disney sheen with the comedy of it, though. So it's a little less. So it's a little, yeah, like sure, that. yeah. And yeah, there was a lot of Kylo comedy. In so, it was, so this is the other thing. This is the thing that I, <clears throat> I, I don't, I, I'm still str- coming to terms with is that the film was very Disney-fied. Yeah, it's, that's this the way. I, that's the phrase I'm Marvel using. The script was about sixty-five percent one-liners. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and there was you know the whole bit with um with Finn and. Rose. Um, rose yeah like that, that whole i didn't care for that sequence and they're going to the casino planet and then like escaping on the on the big creatures riding their back that was all that was that was from a kids film yeah you know that was lifted straight out of like you know finn and rose adventures yeah. you know? I, yeah, yeah. I do want to see th- it, it really seemed to me like the movie wasn't written as a movie and it was written as like they've they've they wrote like like 15 different scenes yeah, and sure. then just like filled in the gaps between those scenes, if that makes sense. So like, oh, we really, I really want to do a scene in this place doing this. I really want to do a scene in this place doing this. I really um, want to have a casino. And do yeah, it, it yeah. did kind of seem to me like that, but it, they blended it well. Yeah, but, but it, it, but it, it did I mean. kind it was, of almost seem like that. It, to it's, it's really, it's a really different um, prospect for a yeah. for, for for a film. It's like significantly it's, different to any other Star Wars movie. Yeah, no, abs- mm, without a shadow yeah. of a doubt. And I think that's what that, that's what I'm I'm struggling with, but not in a bad way. Just in a, I really don't know how how I feel about the film. Yeah, like, it's, it's, com- it's, it's really strange as well because it's significantly different to any of uh, Ryan Johnson's other work, like the two other movies well, I've it, seen. Like, Because yeah. Brick doesn't have any one-liners or anything like that. It's all like a really well-crafted story. Uh, Looper, as you know, Sin will, will shout from the rooftops, is an incredible movie. <laughs> yeah, sure. But I also, but I did feel like it was, it did also feel, I think, a lot like a Ryan Johnson film. Like, I don't know what it was. Maybe it may maybe if it's cause just because I knew that he was the director. Probably, I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, but he had a semi the whole way through the movie because of that as well. Jesus, yeah, blocking the screen. Kept, he kept offering me popcorn. I was like, <laughs> my wife's right there. <laughs> it's not get, get your brother to hold your hand. <laughs> oh Jesus, um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I also, I, I, I didn't like uh, Luke Skywalker at the beginning. Like I didn't yeah. like, yeah. I, but then. When you see the entire story arc, when you see his arc, yeah, it's kind of at the end of it. You're like, oh, okay, no, I, 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 I see like what you were doing. I like the fact that, uh, that by the end of it, you're like going into it the expectation that go Ray is going to learn from Luke, but then by the end, you're like, oh, Luke learned from Ray, really? Yes, like, yeah, wow. yeah, and if, and if anything, Ray learned the most from Snoke and um and Kylo. Uh, well, that's Kylo the thing. Ren. That's what she she also mentioned that um Luke had completely shut himself off from the Force, yes. which is obviously why he he wasn't like in tune with. That's right, and why he well. wasn't wasn't aware yeah. that I mean, he kind of had to learn and... about it again and stuff. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we kind of rediscovered it on yeah. you know in the space of a, a day, a day, <laughs> yeah. and then suddenly he projects himself all the way across the galaxy. Yeah, so they they used like this. So let's talk about that. So they used the force in, in lots of ways that way. we, we we hadn't seen before. Um, some things I really liked. So I, I loved the. The Kylo Ren um, Ray being connected, yeah, presumably yeah. by Snoke. He, you know, he said that that was down to him. Mm-hmm. Um, he also managed to fuck around with Hux, Hux like through the uh, 
uh, fucking the oh yes, what call it? yeah, what? Because I think he was on the same ship, wasn't he? Because he was on. Mm. They were on that the, on the big his the the flagship. But he would just by being by just by seeing him. But then Vader was able to do that in um, Empire Strikes Back, didn't he? He managed to oh like, yeah, of course through yeah. the video screen just kill off all the all, yeah yeah yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I really like the, the the kind of connection they had. I, the the astral projection yeah that was i mean the thing is it worked really really well because it's like you're not really sure how like obviously luke walks out like i i, I thought he was gonna go full like yoda from attack of the clones yeah yeah and just be like doing loads of jumps and oh, dude I, I knew instantly that he wasn't actually there oh really well yeah. did you spot the because he had the light because yeah. he had the blue lightsaber well it's also the footsteps as well yeah uh, where, oh, yeah. where 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 when kylo was stepping it, they even mm. like zoomed into it. They did, like, yeah, they, I, and I didn't pick up oh, on it yeah. at all. Like oh, he fine. messed with the sand, and it went from white to red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they um, made so much about this salt. When you touch it, it, it shows the the, um, yeah. the covering. Even, even so much yeah. of it that some dude touched the floor and then put yeah. it in his mouth and went yeah. salt. Yeah. And, and do you know that the guy standing next to him with the gun is the director of Rogue One? Yeah. Oh, that, that was it. That was his cameo. He yeah. got his cameo. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know that uh, Prince Harry and um, uh, Prince William, the their cameos in it. No, I didn't see that. What? So you know when um, uh, Rose and uh, uh, Finn are going to get their heads chopped off in mm-hmm. the or, or killed by? Are they them? Are they? They're the two guards nice. that come up and extend the executioner the... ones. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dude. Which I thought was kind of cool because as soon as I saw it, I was like, I know who that is. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't even know they were in it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were yeah rumors abound for months, but then they got confirmed about a week ago. So oh. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so the the astral projection was a bit weird. What did we think to um to 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 Yoda's return? I well, I, cool. I do know about seven people in our direct vicinity at the cinema laughed out loud. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, it was. That's the thing. It was quite. Like you could you could take that as a really dramatic moment, or you could take it as a really funny moment when he just appears because he's not looking like he looked like in the Clone Wars. They t- I, I don't know They're if it was a puppet a, again. I, well, I don't know if no, it was. It was, a it was an animatronic. It was because yeah. yeah. I mean it looked it looked exactly like Yoda did in in Return of the Jedi uh, yeah. um, Empire, Strikes Empire Strikes Back, Strikes Back which yeah. I thought was brilliant. I thought it was really good. Mm-hmm. I Much thought we looked different. That. No, 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 because I, I think you always, because I, I recently rewatched Empire and he looks so different in that. It looked like they kind of to... squashed his face though. No, no, that's, that's I mean. what, that's what he looks like. Because yeah, it was, because yeah, I, I, I remember watching it going, that's not how he looked like. And then when you go back and watch like Re- um, Revenge of the Sith or mm-hmm. Attack of the Clones, he looks very different in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So like, that's just the CG versus the puppet, I think. So he oh, looked, okay. yeah, I mean, to me, it looked, but it, it was just, he was quite a weird, like, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, hey. You know, apparently it, it, force ghosts can also yeah, yeah. It bring kind down of gives electricity. Liberty for them to like be like, oh yeah, we can just kind of bring any of these force ghosts back at any point. And yeah, I like, mean that that uh, makes sense. But then using it's fine, the... but like oh, I don't know. He was there for quite like a long time. It's like oh, you could have sat down and had tea with him. You know. Yeah, but that's the but if that's he sort of yeah. stopped and been like lightning and then imparted his wisdom and gone i would have been like okay that's very brief and fleeting that feels a lot better as a, a spectral visit well yeah but that yeah but that that is canon though that the jedi can do that yeah so. no absolutely but it's i don't think they've ever used it quite as liberally as that before well, i think well yeah the, i in, yeah maybe i don't know i'm sure they have in the books and stuff and, and... yeah well extended universe that's true yeah no, it's not even there. extended universe anymore is it? it's called uh legends oh, that's God. what it's called yeah, because they yeah. Retcon- they retconned it all. Yeah, um, yeah. There you go. Um, so um, yeah, so I mean, did, did we enjoy Yoda's performance in it? Did we think you know it was? I think his involvement was cool, and it was good to see their Padawan relationship again. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, it, it also came to a, 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 a nice little round off for for Luke as well at mm-hmm. the end, where he just disappeared like Yoda did. Yeah, that. I mean, that was it. Was a bit. It was a bit. It was done a bit cheesily. I think it was more kind of. Mm. Well, it, I didn't think it was cheesy to me. It was more like, and you know, like he came to the end of his 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 reason for being. He was like, "Yeah, I'm done now. This is my work. It's completed." Yeah, like, that's how it kind of felt to me. Which mm. is obviously how Yoda Yoda obviously old and decrepit at the same time. Yeah, but it but was he, also he, at the same time he was like, yes. "I've done what I need to. You, uh, there's nothing more I can do to help you. Yeah, you, you're, you know, you've taken everything that I have to give." And that's kind of how it felt and, to and, me as well. And, and also, what I did you notice that at the very it was one of the very last scenes um, when they were going through stuff. They, um, I think Finn or somebody was going through a drawer yeah, in the Millennium the draw- Falcon. Yeah. You noticed all the, the Jedi books, books were in there. Yeah. 
So did Ray steal them when she left for the planet, or did Luke put them in there? When no, he Luke. Went to go into Luke the... thought they were still in the tree. That's what. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, so, he went in there to get them. Okay. Well, he went in to burn it down. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So Ray did half inch them then. Yeah. 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 God, she's she's terrible. That means yeah. pinched. Just uh, yeah, half just inch. Half pinched. Pinched. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, so yeah, and and then and, and what did we? So Ray doesn't really have, still hasn't had any formal. Jedi training, yet yeah. she's still uber powerful with the Force, apparently. Which yeah, I oh, mean, she chopped a rock in half. Yeah, she did. She yeah, did. yeah. She yeah. also lifted a bunch of rocks. Yeah, that was, that yeah. was okay. Yeah, I don't know. She, I, I thought this was her her point to really have that formal Jedi training, and yeah, it didn't really satisfy that. But yeah, but then I, I think it, I, I'm kind of glad that she didn't get formal Jedi training because then you're just going to get more of the same Jedi. Whereas now yeah, it, it's so. her own way of learning with, with the with like the original books, like the you know, yeah, that she's got. So, so yeah. she could kind of maybe more like a more she a can interpret to her own way. Yeah, stuff, sure. Yeah, find her own mm. way to to do things and things like that, which yeah. would be quite cool. Yeah. Um. So I, I mean, let's go back to um uh, to the to the Snoke bit. I thought that whole scene. I loved the way that Snoke looked. I loved the throne room. I I really even though that his guards. They're always doing like their their funny poses and they're like their yeah. martial arts stuff. I just thought they just looked really good. I loved how like when they moved, they were completely silent, you know, and stuff like that. I just yeah. thought that was really good. Um, what did you think to the to to the death of of, of Snoke? I don't know. I thought it was a. I like. I didn't see it coming, and I thought it was a good. A you great didn't plot see it point. coming. Well, I was like, he can't. He surely. I can't didn't die. see it coming. Are you he gonna? Surely can't die. No, no, no. I just. Just, okay. Just a dribble. He's just, okay. He's just tissue in his mouth. <laughs> just a dribble. But I thought he was going to suddenly blow his nose on the podcast while we were recording. It's like, yeah, well, because I, 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 like, I obviously like they make these story decisions, but like, so this film really felt like it really felt like a mix between um, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Like both films pushed into one. Yeah. Um, I mean, there were there were bits like when when um, uh, Kylo Ren was bringing. Ray to see Snoke. They, that was that was Luke Skywalker and that Darth Vader from Jedi. Return of the Jedi. I yeah. mean, I think she even said some of the same lines that Luke says to Vader and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, and then obviously, like you have the battle on the planet at the end. That's so Planet Hoth. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. the opening scroll, like the opening uh, crawl, and then like the opening scene was. The beginning of Empire, Empire Strikes, Strikes Back. Back. Like, I saw like, that and I was just like, they're not going to do this again, surely. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Like, it was just complete hell. retelling yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. that's Doing it. But, again, but they didn't. They but... kind of merged those two films into one, which allows them, I suppose, with episode nine to just do something completely yeah, yeah. different. Yeah, which yeah is, which I'm, is I'm kind of glad there's not like a uh, like an overbearing um, like uh, Snoke being in all three of them. Like, yeah, but I just, yeah. but I, but I wanted to find out more about him. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I, that's it. He's gone. Although there is the theory that he's uh, Darth Plagueis, so the guy that trained Darth Sidious. The wise, and that's it. And he apparently has the power to prevent death, mm. which is what Sidious always wanted. So it could still be Plagueis, and he could come back. That's mm. the the, no, I don't the ongoing do that. theory. No, I don't. Well, I don't think they will. But I don't I mean, think they indulge in too much of that wider stuff. To be but, honest, but I just it was so like. Because he was so he was so cool, like just like with, with playing with Ray with the the Force and stuff, mm-hmm. and he wasn't even thinking about it, and he was so powerful. He did all of this, yeah. and then like for him to be like such an overseer, to be like you know I I made Kylo do this, so you would come here and blah yeah. blah blah. For him to do all that and then not see it coming that Kylo just get might a little just bit fucking tricked. kill him. Yeah, I mean like, I, I was just like that's kind of weak. I mean maybe yeah, yeah you've choked on your hubris because you think you're so great and you're such a Sith Lord, but. Ultimately, I was just like, eh, it's, a, it's a bit weak. But I, I enjoyed the fact that that was the, the plot point and that's where they went with it. Because I was like, this, yeah. I didn't see this coming. And, and what was even better is you think, oh, Kylo, he's, 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 she saved he's, him. Oh, it's brilliant. They're going to now that, go that off. And then moment of like tension where you're like, oh, sh- where, where does that leave him now? Yeah. And then and then she's like, come on, let's go. And he's like, well, no, we need to go this way. Yeah. yeah it's because yeah. we're, we're, we're now we've killed the Supreme Leader. So now, yeah. now we, we get to rule the Leader. galaxy. And you're just like, no. Yeah, yeah, it was that was that was nice. I like that. I think that would have been cool if they'd gone, okay, yeah, Ray joins him. Well, yeah, that but you just yeah left field, but Yeah. That's what I thought they were. That's kind of what going I thought was it. gonna happen as well. I yeah. honestly thought that Ray was gonna be like, No, we, yeah, we need to do this and then it would just kinda of be them like conflicting with each other in the next about one. how best to rule the galaxy. Well, not rule or, the galaxy, mm-hmm. but like he's he's gonna be trying to like rule it where she's gonna be trying to lead it. Yeah, yeah sure, okay, sense. yeah. Yeah, like that's kind of how I pictured it to happen, and then yeah, it yeah. didn't. 
Then so they didn't. broke the lightsaber. But it, it just it felt like um, the, the film just felt like the whole way through that they were just they were just getting rid of all the old stuff. So it was like you know yeah. just just Having a clear this is like yeah this is like this is what you're expecting from oh, Star thanks, Wars. Man. Sorry. This is this is what you are. They're playing footsie, if in case anyone's wondering. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's like uh, they just get rid of all the all the old characters, all the old mythos, all the the theories and everything like that, and then and then we can start afresh. Yeah, I'm kind of puzzled as to why Leia didn't kick the. Oh well, let's well. let's let's talk about let's that talk scene. about the Superman scene <sighs> for fuck's sake. There was so, there was like three times where you thought she was going to die as well. Yeah yeah, 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 and and that was the perfect opportunity to kill her because because it, it was it would have been a good death. I mean, like she was, and, and it, it was. Yeah, I didn't feel like it justified her living the reasons after. No, for her to sort of come back. I, I, only other than to I have a conversation with Luke at the and, end. Yeah, and the whole the, what's her name, Londo, the the vice admiral. Oh lady. yeah, like yeah. that whole thing. Like I, I, after that sort of came full circle. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like that's nice, but I don't know if it necessarily they needed to keep. Oh, but when she went fucking that. light speed and busted through, that was oh, that was no, that, fucking this is, incredible. This is the thing though. That was good. Why is kamikaze warfare via hyperspace not a thing? Yeah, well, I mean, Why it has is no now. One thought of that? Well, that, yeah, that well, was she like, "Fuck it, I'm the first person ever to do this," or maybe the Empire should that, have just been I, like, "That was that was." Why didn't really, they do really... that through the Death Star? Yeah, well, that, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I want to know. I that was understand. just build a massive ship, make it, and like, don't put anyone in it, and just put a brick on yeah. the on the pedal. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just go. <laughs> Um, that was a really good moment, though, is that she turned the ship and they're like, "They're escaping," and she's like, "Don't, don't, don't fire at her. It's yeah. fine. Just concentrate." And then. The look of realization on Hux's face, where they realize, where he realizes what's going on, and then just the way that it was done, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was just it was like instant. Silent. It was like, That's well, it, but, and take all yeah. the sound out as well. Oh, that God, was that's so cool. powerful, yeah. and just seeing it, and you're like, oh shit, yeah, like really cool. yeah, that's um, fucking badass. But no, so the the layer scene, but she so, managed to go through all of the ships as well. Well, she went in just a, like a straight line, and they just happened to be. But they were they weren't though. They were like scattered around, and they all just kind of like fell apart. And I was like, Oh, I don't. Jesus, you got to be like a real fucking. <laughs> She's zigzagging. Lewis Hamilton. Maybe to do that's that. what she did. She <laughs> just she just plotted it, and then just oh, yeah, okay, pressed yeah. the go button, and then oh yeah, let yeah. Droid yeah. Deal the G forces in that mate would have just te- <laughs> torn her skin off her face. Uh, she doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's... I mean, half of it was already off anyway. Oh. It was an old joke. Oh, oh, I see. Right. I was okay. like not half sure about it. It's like that, a dog but... hanging its head out the window. It wasn't. It... <laughs> sure. Anyway, um, but let's talk about the layer scene because that was so she gets blasted out into space. Um, uh, the, and did she hold her breath? Well, no. She like, closed her eyes. She's pretty much. So that makes she's... it all right. Yeah, yeah. You, you you stop breathing if you close your eyes. <laughs> but then, but then, but then her hand switched no. and she opened her eyes. And then she somehow managed to float. So was this her controlling pulled. it, or was it she force pulled? She force pulled. So what? So it was her making, or wasn't yeah, she pulled force. the ship closer to her? But it wasn't the force saving her, which would probably mm. make more sense. I think it probably did. Did um, it? it no, I, I just either that, or it was like like a, a subconscious thing that that she already had done. She like saved herself, but not in not. Deliberately, if that makes sense. Yeah. It just, like she didn't, like, she didn't consciously try and do it. I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's just like because I, I'm when I saw that scene, I, I was, I, I kind of my mind went back to Revenge Guardians of the, of the Galaxy. Sith. No, oh, okay. Revenge of the Sith, where um, uh, they're attacking Obi Wan and uh, Anakin are attacking the ship in the big space battle at the beginning, mm-hmm. um, and they're they're like uh, his ship is being like eaten up by like the little creatures, and they're like trying to get them off. And surely, if the Jedi can just survive in space for a short period of time, they would have just like ejected themselves and then just flown into the ship or whatever. Whereas, I don't know. It just it just seems like yeah. they're taking a, a a few too many. That was the like almost the line with the Force powers in this film. Like, I yeah, just, yeah. I think they really pushed that stuff. Yeah, a little bit too far with it. Because I, I didn't mind the astral projection. That was that was really that was cool. cool. I, that was a really nice reveal, and I thought that was really good. Although the 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 CG wasn't that good in that scene. It kind of took me out a little bit, but it was a really good idea, and I loved it. And everything else that happened was really good. And even Ray just having these crazy powers for no reason, I really enjoyed. But it was just that Leia being blown into space and surviving. I was just like, I was oh, just, really? I, I think I literally audibly at that point was like, "Wow, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. sure, that's it." Uh, like it, this is like uh, it's okay. I think like it, they get away with it a bit. It's. You know, I was okay with it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. have any problems with it. Okay, you're yeah. literally a okay with it. Yeah. Okay. 
So I really liked okay the now. um I really liked how the, the the film opens with the with the space battle. I love the fact that there's no uh, time jump. It's literally carries straight on from where the last film ended, yeah. which I thought was really good. Um, and I love that whole opening scene with um, with the bombers and with Poe Dameron. Um, Poe Dameron, like that opening what bit guy. where like he's yeah. Uh, I can I can I speak to Commander Hux, please? Or, or Hux, yeah, I'll hold. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold. <laughs> He's like, can he hear me? Can he hear me? Uh, no, I'm, I'll hold. Don't, yeah, like, like the whole sequence was was just was really funny, really good way to open the film. Like I just thought that was yeah, yeah. skinny ginger dude. You no, know, always angry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that really good. And then like the 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 uh, the bombing run, I thought yeah. was really really good as well. And I like those bombers, but I was kind of you know like the Y wings usually did the bombing. Yeah, no, I was a, a bit new... disappointed there were no Y wings but, for sure. I mean these these are cool. I mean you got, yeah. got you can't just do the same. And thing and what thing. I really liked about it is is it really showed the cost of taking on the empire the first order yeah, or whatever yeah, that you've yeah. never really seen. I think yeah Leia really sort of alludes to that. Yeah, she's well, like well at what cost? You, yeah, all yeah. you saw before was like people Sitting in uh in the X Wings, just going, oh, I can't shake him. Uh, yeah, that's it. And, and then, then at the then end, they die. But also, then- dude, at the at the very start of this, there's a Jack Porkins. Did you notice that there's a fucking fat guy in an, in a bomber who just blows up like oh, really? in one second? Okay. And I was like, oh, I thought that was literally. like James Corden. Was it? it? No, it looked a little bit like him for those for the two and a half for. frames that he was on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I was just like, that is such a fucking Porkins moment. I love that. No, it was it it was really good, and I like I just like yeah, as I say, like it just showed the cost, and and like I love the fact that like they the resistance, the rebels as they become became at the end, just kind of whittled mm. down, just lower and smaller and smaller and smaller until there's literally a handful of them left. Oh, fucking so just, phasma died as well. Well, oh, uh, well, I really didn't care I, about I don't think she's dead. Really? I don't think she's mm. dead. She'll come back. She got other trash compactors. So. Yeah, she'll she'll definitely come back. And she's got bulletproof armor. It's badass. Yeah, um, yeah, that was fucking cool. So I, yeah. I, that, I, I thought, yeah, that that was a really nice scene. I love like that. So what did you think to the Benedict del Toro? Um, I liked his yeah. character a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was cool. Yeah, he was, was out for of, himself. Yeah, and it was slightly more than a cameo, and it would just, it was. I thought it was the best the best bit of. Roses and Finn's little side story yeah. thing. Going. I, I don't yeah. know. No, what... I actually really enjoyed his character. Actually, I want to see him no, come back. He mm-hmm. was. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I'm not sure if we'll see him in the next film or not. We might. I, he'll probably turn up he in might one of the good. cartoons. Nah, or... Fucking yeah. John Boyega will kick the shit out of him. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, that's he's... what I think will happen. Oh, okay, he'll, yeah, they'll come sure. across him and he'll just beat into a pole. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, thought they were yeah. kind of going with it, like Benicio was kind of like inviting uh, Finn to be a bit like himself with the whole like commentary on war and like you know. Of, you know, this both sides get funded by this and this. Well, that was his whole thing. It was like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was like, look, kid, there's no right or wrong here. Yeah. It's just yeah. this. There's no good or bad. It felt yeah. like, like that you're... kind of observation, that kind of commentary as well in a Star Wars film just felt a bit weird because they never really... Yeah. It's kind of like a very directly real world issue. It's like they've gone to this casino planet and like you're thinking, oh, they're going to go on a, on, a, on a good old adventure, a good romp, you know, and they're going to save, the, yeah. going to get something. And then suddenly it's like, yeah, they're all arms dealers. Yeah. They're like they're funding the war, and yeah. you're like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. Okay. When, when, when she was like, "Yeah, no," he was like, "It's really nice here." She's like, "Look closer." So he uses binoculars. Yeah, like, <laughs> like it's a very literal. And like, yeah. and you see the slaves, and you see well. the kids indentured, and then you're, and then you're just like, "Yeah, it's all, it's all." Like, arms. I think it'd have been better if he just looked around and was just like. And just like took a closer look at what people were actually doing, rather than yeah. physically looking closer. Yeah, but that's yeah. what I mean. I think it, that whole side story was was the weakest part of the film. I mean, yeah. I, I, I still thought it was okay. I mean, there wasn't anything. I like bad I like the it. world building they did with that. That yeah. was fine. Like all the the different aliens and stuff in there, and that kind of stuff was good. Yeah, but the the story arc I didn't really care. No, for. it was it was. I didn't really care for what was going on between Finn and Rose no. anyway. I have like the whole concept of the fact that the rebel base is a ship in this one. Yeah. And that they're and and like they they set it up really well. Like it's that they can go slightly faster, but they're going to run out of fuel. So they've got and then like, but they shoot off on their own adventure on a light speed ship. Yeah, I, but I really liked that concept. I thought that was really good. So like, cause it just made me wonder why the the um fucking Hux didn't just speed up a bit more. Well, that was well. Or, they were far. Yeah, they were. They they, they 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 pretty much laid it out that like the fighters couldn't quite. Reach Why them. was that though? Why did they have to? Re- they were like, well, we can't have fighters out that far, and it's like. No, you, why? Why not? Yeah, well, not really just, explain why yeah. not. I just don't understand why they just didn't go a bit faster. Well, no, because they they did say they said that the ship is that their ship was faster at, at sublight speeds. Yeah, yeah. 
That's what they said. We'll just fucking go light speed and then and come then back. And then just a come bit. back at the other <laughs> side. Yeah, no, exactly. Why don't you yeah. Just go through them. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah that's it. Here's yeah. a new fucking idea. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, it was as I said, it was it was a um a bit of a forced setup, but I. But still they, they also the weren't that far away from them. Uh, but they're like, oh yeah, no, our rockets won't work. Yeah. They managed to shoot a ship, uh, a planet from like fucking miles and miles yeah, out. But yeah, they're like, true. yeah, they can't quite reach the remote yeah. control. Where is it? <laughs> I felt like they could have. They probably could have done a, a bit more. The the new yeah, order, no, well, they, like yeah. the Sith order, but they were they were whatever. just happy just to chill, weren't they? they Snake was chilling the, in his throne room, just like you know, having tea or whatever. Yeah, and it was just like just kill them when you can. Don't worry about yeah. it. Like, like, there was yeah, no yeah, urgency. It's really. the last of the resistance. No, you know, there's not going to be any fucking dramatic moment where they turn it around like yeah. they always do. <laughs> um, but then then they all escape, and then like they're like, yeah, but do we do we find out how they knew they were there? Because did they tell? It, it, it was implied that Benedict del Toro's character told Benicio. them Benicio. I don't know why I keep calling him Benedict because yeah. you're getting ex Benedict. Benedict player. Player. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they kept telling him that, that they implied that it was it was him that that told them about the escaping rebel craft. But did they did they tell him? I don't. I, I don't yeah. know that he knew. Or about maybe that. he was on the bridge and they were talking to Finn when Finn was talking to Poe Dameron. He just overheard it. And then yeah. It could have like, been the case that when he was on. like fucking around with the wires and shit, that he literally just he just told saw, him or that, saw it through, through that, like through through their through the computers or some shit like that. Yeah, but we I, don't, I, we I don't just, know what he was doing. No, but I was just trying to figure out like how how he knew that that was happening. That was the that was the thing that got me. I was like, oh right, they, he told yeah, him. Yeah, to that my this mind, that was like a rebel plan that yeah. happened without them being exactly. present. Like I did, I just thought it was a bit odd. But I thought yeah, BB-8 it did did a. Obviously, when Poe spoke to BB-8 and Finn and stuff, yeah, it, maybe, like, maybe, he, he yeah, maybe that's what well. it was. Yeah, maybe they yeah. were all. It was all. Hurt, I mean, hurt. It, they were they were on a ship for like a couple of hours as well. Yeah, like, sure what else are going to talk about? Yeah, he's already turned around to them and said, "Yeah, these this ship sells good things and bad things." Yeah. So, so how? Well, I don't know. For, the, for, yeah. go, for them to be like, well, here's our plans. Um, oh yeah, they, they also said it in the in the prison as well. Did they? Yeah, oh, when they right. were in the prison, they were like talking. He was like, yeah, yeah, but they, yeah, but they didn't they know didn't that. Know yeah, but they didn't know plan. about the plan about they all get on the little cruisers Cloaking. and then you'll just yeah. fly away. And that's they didn't know about that plan. That's the one that I'm. Oh, he, that bit, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. He thought the plan was to get. I mean, on board you could also and... see them leaving. Well, yeah, but uh, they were cloaked though. Yeah, but you couldn't see them. That was the... they weren't cloaked. They were. That was the well, whole they, thing. They were they were cloaked. Yeah, but they didn't know that they were escaping until until Del Toro's character said. Their escape. He looks out the window. He's like, "What would uh, well, yeah, about that's, that?" Yeah, that's, <laughs> it was. I don't know. It was just a bit odd. That was the whole thing. Was just yeah. A bit, no, a I bit think that's slightly. They could have. They could have put like a little, just a little yeah. nod in there. Like it would have just sort of bridged that yeah. gap a little bit. But it's not. It's not a major offense. No. I don't think. Um, Let's I, talk about Poe Dameron. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. fucking love Poe. I Dameron. fucking love that dude he's, as well. He's, I really he like cool. the yeah, fact that they fun. they did some stuff in this. He's like a edgier. Han Solo. Yeah. Well, well, this is the thing. So I was going to say Del Toro's character is basically Han Solo, but without like the moral twist at the yeah. end where he becomes good. Yeah. He's just like, no, 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 I'm I'm out for myself. Yeah. He's like, no, I, I am actually out for myself. Yeah, no, I'm not double like, crossing, double yeah, crossing, I'm, double crossing. I'm not going to come I'm, back and yeah. save the day at the last minute. I've got no, my big is, pile of cash yeah. and I am leaving. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> See you in a bit. Yeah, basically, which I just thought was brilliant. Yeah. But yeah, no, sorry, Poe Dameron. No, it was really good. I, I thought, like, as I say, like the bit at the beginning really showed off like, how good a pilot he is because they they kind yeah. of did that a little bit in the first one but they they, well, keep no, they saying, just kept shouting he's the best he's pilot. the best pilot saying, and you're like oh, and but what makes him a good pilot it. and then there's that bit where the the first order um guy is on the bridge of the dreadnought which i just thought was such a cool idea like it's it's an artillery de- uh, yeah. an artillery star destroyer which i just yeah, thought was brilliant yeah. and he's like what what pilot would be crazy enough to do that? And you're like, oh, nice. it's the best pilot in the galaxy. It's just, Dameron. Yeah, what okay. a hell of a pilot. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. And then like his constant like he's he's that hotshot pilot yeah, who just yeah. wants to go and blow things up. Real my boy. And, and my my I thought my yeah I think the best joke for me anyway personally in the whole thing was that bit where they have the huge argument. He has the huge argument with Leia. And Leia's just like, look, you're just a hotshot pilot that just wants to go and blow things up. And then almost instantly they get under attack. And he's like, can I go please blow go some, blow some stuff yeah. up, please? Like, I just thought that was the best joke. And she's just like, yes, yes, yeah. you can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he obviously becomes like the de facto leader of the rebels at the end of it, which mm-hmm. is, you know, like, yeah. very... He's like, 
follow me. She's, everyone looks around her lair. It's like, what the fuck are you looking at me yeah. for? It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> even your way out. Yeah, go. Yeah, follow yeah. the crystal fox. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to be like, obviously leading the, the new rebellion. So I would imagine like the, I, I would imagine like the next episode will probably open with him like recruiting, doing some sort of... Yeah, yeah. Because nope. the first film opened with him and like the second film opened with him as well. So I'd imagine they're probably going to keep that. So he's actually the main character. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the last Jedi. This is this yeah. is what the film is about. He's Ray actually dies. Snoke. He actually sh- <laughs> <laughs> he shoots Kylo Ren at the end of episode nine and then he saves the galaxy and it's all over. I wouldn't Hooray. be surprised if he does. Oh, like, dude, I don't want him to shoot. I, I literally want someone to get beaten to a pulp. Just what? like... Like, so, rather, rather, than, rather than, yeah, rather, well, it doesn't I mean, matter who. Just, yeah, I just, I just want, want, I just want to watch someone trip. get beat to a pulp. <laughs> you, know, you, can, you know, you don't have to come to Star Wars. For <laughs> no, that. I just mean like rather than like using lightsabers and phasers. And yeah, shit like that, I just... thought that was cool because in the throne room fight, like Kylo loses lightsaber for a sec, and there was yeah. like there was like room for that to happen, but the guy just fucking like starts. Yeah. Also, what, like, what, oh. what were those weapons made out of? Because lightsabers are supposed to be able to they go were through like anything. The, oh. They were like the stormtrooper kind of electronic batons. And yeah, and, and like, like yeah, but like it, general, at one point, like the the lightsaber was just on the on, on like the handle of it, and it didn't burn through it and shit. Like I just yeah, I, they were obviously made of stuff they that, had, that yeah, the lightsaber they had couldn't go through. Forearm, things. but it was a bit like also like the um the gu- uh, general Grievous's guards and uh, uh, oh, Revenge yeah. of the Sith had like the staffs electronic that were staffs. yeah. I, I I really like the the are they they're called like the Knights of somebody not the Knights of Ren uh, is it oh is it Knights I think of they Ren? might be oh shit that was a whole thing in episode seven wasn't it yeah, that, yeah. I think I'm pretty and obviously oh, the, and, and my guess would be as well that they're the dozen or, or the half a dozen or so students that Luke that that ran away with Kylo the, the basically the ones that Kylo Ren didn't kill at the New Jedi Academy yeah so I'm guessing they all just became you know yeah. like they all got turned. Yeah. Luke, you really fucked up. Snoke yeah, was literally he did. Well, he went in there with the fucking shit. lightsaber to kill him. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, he, so that's he kind of yeah. that, That's. I mean, what do we think? See, see it from two different ways. What do we think to that, that scene? Was, that was that. That's cool. Yeah, it was. I, I liked the truth because I was like, I don't want to believe that Luke is a bad guy. No, 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 no. I, I don't. Do. I don't like that. Although, also, that was a, a potential outcome that Snoke dies. Luke is actually the Master Sith. That would have been a fucking a plot twist, but that, yeah, but that was never going to happen. Oh, it would have been, been cool. Fucking or the, or the, layers the Sith. So the, the thing that really disappointed me was why at the end, even though it was an astral projection, why was Luke Skywalker's lightsaber not green? Because he chose to appear as blue. But but I just it really frustrated like me. Pure, more pure, less of the progression. Because you know the original trilogy, it kind of represents his journey. You know, he got to the end of these green but this is him going back to being pure old uh, little fly I think, boy I, think, I don't know Tatooine. there must be a reason i, I, know, I, I, I know yeah i don't know it just it really annoyed me that we only saw his green lightsaber once and that was like very yeah. brief but yeah i think he I chucked know, it actually. out to be honest well he threw it over the cliff didn't he no that was no, the, we, before yeah no. i would have thought before yeah. when he went to that planet he was like fuck this green lightsaber yeah, yeah well maybe he walked up to the cliff turned his back and no, threw but, it over no, his shoulder. But, no, but, he, but he has the lights so unless he builds another one of course but he does have the lightsaber um when when Ray when he's talking to Ray, he, mm. you see it sometimes just hanging on his belt. So, oh, do you? Yeah. Is it the actual build of the green one? I don't know. I, that I don't know. Mm. I'm Let's sure you'd have to watch grass. a things you missed video. On, yeah. On YouTube, on YouTube. <laughs> with like some big yellow writing and red arrows. And Here's stuff. Luke's green lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, what was I going to say? Uh, something about uh, Luke Skywalker and his lightsaber. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, what did we think? <laughs> what did we think to the the, the porgs? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm and not. and and the oh, what, the little the little things. So ah. there, were, there there were two creatures on that planet. There were the little poor penguin type the things, caretakers, and then the caretakers. So what did we think? Oh, and there's also the uh, the the seal with the fucking titty. Oh, oh yeah, it, Jesus! It, this is where blue milk fucking, comes from. That was Finally, oh, yeah. it's revealed. That was the best bit. And he like literally the bit where he squeezes out and he drinks it and some spills in his beard. And, he's, like, and he looks up and he's like he's like brilliant. half smiling with like this thing smeared. He's like, Argh. I was like the only one laughing in this cinema at that point and I was like how is this not hilarious to anyone else yeah <laughs> that was fucking that's weird yeah that was a bit weird yeah <laughs> but hilarious so no but the the little por- so the, the, the por- little porg things they were, were just... animatronic as well some of them what, were they really kind of looked I don't know a bit stiff but what did you think to the the Chewbacca porg scene I thought that was cool where he's like he's gonna eat he's gonna yeah I thought that was cool one. but oh, like, right, that was the yeah. only good bit about the porgs yeah They're, but this is this is the this is the Disney side coming in I think because it's like because Star Wars has always been 
a film that is very adult based, but kids get a lot out of it as well. Yeah. And it's and they and they've always been a bit fun and a bit, but they've always still maintained. I feel the adult side of things. Yeah. Whereas this film, kind of, it felt almost like a kids' film with adult themes in it. Do you know? You know, you know what no, I mean I think, by the... I think it more felt like an an adulty film with some of these bo- like awkwardly bolted on kids. Yeah. Well, bits. sure. Okay. Yeah. Like that is. They're like, hey, we really need a mascot character to sell on all our merchandise. Yeah, Let's well, no, for sure, porgs. that's definitely what the porgs were. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, they're they're, they're kind of cute. I, I can't I can't really say too much yeah. bad about them. I prefer penguins. Yeah, I, I, pen- yeah. Penguins then, are great, and the the snow fox icicle. Oh, the, the, they the, were the kind of cool. They were cool. crystal creatures. Yeah, oh, they yeah. were. They I were like weird. the weird crystal foxes. Crystal, like crystal foxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was like little touches that just sort of added to the the overall universe of it as well. Like I thought were good. Like when they're on the island planet, like, one of the scenes, like, Luke's just walking up a cliff and there's this huge fucking behemoth that just, like, jumps into the sea or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that, yeah. And I was just like, oh, this is, you know, lo- nice to see that this isn't just an empty planet and they've thought sort of beyond what is just on this island, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I mean, I like the, the, the point of the crystal foxes as well. Um, obviously, other than the fact that they were there and they look kind of cool, it'd be, like, up until the certain point that you realise the reason for them being there. Mm. Like, they, it just seemed pointless for them being like on the yes, planet or you yeah. know to, to have so many of them there and people paying attention to him but then obviously then they go oh can you hear yeah. that yeah oh, i don't hear anything and he's like exactly they've left yeah like, and because you couldn't hear them out yeah, couldn't hear sure. them anymore mm. yeah so. yep um good what else what else do we want to talk about anything um, else that you want to the whole the, the hole the sith hole the sith oh yeah hole. i'm not sure how i felt about that so that will no, but see the way i saw that was um, is this, the... so it's so this is like... i fucking raise parents as well Oh, oh, that's so annoying. That is well, no, I, wanted, I fucking love that. I wanted if, well, Kenobi. If, no, man. Yeah, no, but that's Kenobi. if that's true. Yeah, yeah, that could just be... Because that could just be Kylo Ren completely messing with her. Yeah. No, I hope that's true. I hope they're literally no one. They're yeah. just nothing. No, I mean, I, 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 I kind of want that as well, but I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't necessarily think that that's the last... Of, I mean, it could be. It mm-hmm. could could well be. That could have been could have been a been her brother uh, that was doing the sweeping up at the end. Yeah, I her thought that brother. they kind of pointed I'm, to that. I'm kid, just I'm like, just joking. You're just don't yeah, okay. because there's like no. two two kids that have been left on different planets. Yeah, no, so, sure. Yeah, so no, weird yeah. looking creatures. That would be. Yeah, no, it could be though. Who knows? I don't think we'll see that kid again though. I think that was just no. That's that's going to be um uh, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh right, yeah. I was sure, literally yeah. thinking something like that. No, I, I think like, that they was are, just they are focusing on this kid. Just, just a little I was bit just showing the the seed of the rebellion, wasn't it? That's yeah. what it yeah, was. Yeah, it was just like so, he's but... like, I'm gonna. There's more of them. Yeah, they're, 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 they're still gonna be fight left. Yeah, yeah. that's it exactly. Yeah, yeah. One but if they go back time. to that fucking casino planet, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I don't know. I think they're just yeah, create new planets for the next one. Um, yeah. But back to the Sith hole. Back to the yeah, no, no. So I thought this was a bit like because so obviously it's a. It's an uh, ancient, well, the the first Jedi temple. So it's it, this planet is is very with the Force, yeah. a bit like Dagobah was. And there they Dagobah. had Dagobah. <laughs> they there they had like a, a, a Sith hole as well, where Luke went into to yeah. Dagobah. <laughs> Dagobah, Dagobah, it's just the same bloody thing. <laughs> it is, but I just like the way um, you pronounce it. Dagobah. And, uh, and like, so I, I, so this place obviously has to have the dark side bit as well to it because it's that's what the balance, that's what the force is. It's all about having the light and the dark and the balance. And yeah, so I didn't mind the Sith hole, but it was I what just, was it was kind of well, cool. The, the, what was down there? Well, no, but that's what I mean. What was what she did when she went in there was just about as weird as when Luke went into the the Sith hole and fought yeah, Luke, and, uh, Darth Vader and chopped his head off, and then it was him. Yeah, it was like yeah, yeah. what the hell? It was just as weird and as surreal and what's yeah, really I thought it was kind of cool that um that when Ray first saw the hole in her head um and she obviously went to it and then this that and the other and Luke was like you went to the dark side and you didn't even hesitate yeah like you you just didn't care you were like I'm yeah. gonna go like whereas he was mm. like probably expecting her to fight against it yeah but like I, th- I think that was kind of cool because it kind of shows that she is um she's not just so focused on all the good side of things that she's going to try and learn everything. Yes, and then yeah. it could just it could yeah, help absolutely. a lot. That's which the be quite suggestion cool. of this grey Jedi thing, though, isn't it? Like the the Jedi. Gandalf. that's not a, a Jedi. It's not a Sith. It's <laughs> yes. sort of Gandalf the Grey was a grey <laughs> Jedi. Yes, yeah. he had a purple lightsaber and everything. Yeah, yeah. but it's going to be sort of she's going to be perfectly balanced, and that's the grey Jedi. Idea. Yes, yeah. I think that's. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, she's a balance in the in the force. Yes, yeah. And and also it, because it, Ray is actually an anagram of balance as well. Oh shit! I didn't no think that. way! <laughs> oh, mind blown! <laughs> I can't believe that. How did I never see that? 
Um, but yeah, there, there's also it's showing not really. like it's, a, it's an anagram of one. Um, one right, yeah, yes. <laughs> um, but like she, it's also she hasn't the, the Jedi haven't been around, so there is no in in this in in what the universe she's grown up in, there is no good and bad and and light and dark. It's it's all the First Order Empire kind of a little bit kind of as we say grey. Um, there was the stories of Luke Skywalker right. and the Jedi coming back, but then. But then not. So she's kind of she doesn't really have that concept of, of of light and dark and good and bad. It's more just as you say. It's like I just want everything. I want to know everything about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I really like that's kind of the logical kind of progression. Whereas whereas Kylo Ren, he had that training and he had the he was taught as soon as he was born that you have good and bad and light and dark and yeah, you know and look how that turned out. Shocking. God's sake. Yeah, that's it. I, uh, I just wanted to understand what, what was meant by that fucking reflection. There. Yeah, well, I, I, but there was the moment where she was... See, I the only thing that I could think of is that when she was in Snoke's throne room mm-hmm. and she went up to the, the viewing mirror, it was very much... And she saw her reflection back at her first. Yeah, yeah. And that must have been like... Then she thought, oh, well, this is my moment because this is the vision that I saw in the cave. So this is the moment to do something. Yeah. Um, yeah. that's the only thing I, that I could think yeah, of yeah the only but... thing I could really think of is like it's a reflection and maybe the, the dark side is coming to terms with yourself or something like that I don't know yeah it was yeah it's, yeah. Still... the only way to defeat the dark side is to is to accept it and to and, embrace it and embrace, embrace it, yeah. it yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it Ray the Grey like that. that's what Ray the Grey that's what it's going to be called Ray the Grey sure Ray the Grey Star Wars Ray the Grey <laughs> <laughs> Um, anything else that you guys want to talk about that you want to mention about the film? Because I mean, I, I'm I'm sure that we're missing. Uh, let's think about massive what amounts of it in the um, film. <laughs> I think Phasma will probably still be alive. Oh no, definitely because yeah. she's got a bulletproof suit. So. Yeah, I think she she managed to get out the trash can. Oh, she did. She, did, she did have a hole in her face though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. literally fell into a fireball. Yeah. yeah, I think she'll be back. I think I think she'll, I be, think she'll be. I really, I, I don't care too much okay. for her. All right, it's... I'm quite looking forward to uh, seeing how the first order is like because obviously we don't know what type of time jump that it's going to be between episodes. Oh, forty three years. Wow, Ooh. probably not that long. But yeah. it, the good... next movie comes out in forty three years time. It, oh, it, it doesn't. It comes out in December nineteen. But anyway. Um, 30, 19. <laughs> um but I, I'd be interested to see kind of where the first order is going to be and where the rebellion. I hope that it's not just it doesn't do what this does and just doesn't take any time. I hope that it takes a couple of years, maybe. Yeah. So Ray's become a powerful Jedi. That there's the rebellion that's happening. Floating yeah, more rocks. Yeah. I think that those, floating more rocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it definitely needs to reach that point where the where the re- the the rebellion. Yeah. Um, and and what has and, grown a and bit. what is Kylo Ren doing at this stage? Is he the supreme leader? Is he just? I mean, like, I really want to see. I want them to take the time so they can really you know um go into that story rather than let the characters develop off screen that's it yeah, yeah. rather yeah, than because yeah, yeah. that's what i was obviously with with ray meeting luke you didn't really want to time jump in this because you wanted to see her training and yeah. stuff um and it worked for this film but the next one i want to see the consequences of because this film as you say it changed everything mm-hmm. it, it, and everything that you thought the story was going to be it, it it wasn't and everything kind of they they've got like it's almost this is almost like the film that happens at the end of a trilogy yeah but it's halfway through so it's yeah, like yeah. We, I, I just want to see the res- the consequences of that like I'm yeah. really that's what I'm I think I'm looking forward that's to cool. anyway sure. yeah no I, I'm I'm really looking forward to the next one for sure do you reckon it the next one will open up partway through like a battle I'm thinking that yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it, I honestly it'll think open it, with Poe Dameron again. Yeah, open I with Poe so. Dameron. They're I, like I part, so. partway through a battle. Um, you know, they they've got a few more uh, stealing some scum. rebel ship or something, yeah. so some rebel ships or something. Yeah, like destroying a shipyard or yeah, yeah, something yeah. that would that would be good. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay, so uh, so if there's nothing else, you've got any final thoughts um, about? I have uh, a final, just sort of rest in peace. Uh, Admiral Akbar died. Oh yeah, he does. So that's yeah. sad. Yeah. He does. Rest in peace, Admiral. He does. I mean, that's what I mean. They, they all. He couldn't detect the trap that time. <laughs> no, he could not. No. Oh, oh, and um, uh, what do we think to uh, C three PO? See, I, I really He's got his gold arm back. Yeah, and I really like the C three PO and Leia kind of. They just had a couple of lines where she's like, it? "Don't look at me like with that face yeah, or whatever," yeah. and it's it just yeah, wipe that 
you look yeah, off your face or something it. like that. You just realised that, yeah, no, actually, they've known each other for a very long also, time. Oh, they actually, just they actually pied them off as well. Luke's like, oh, see you 3 p.m., so bye. Yeah, he's yeah. like, nice to see you again. Yeah. They bye. also got the, um, the Leia Chewy hug as well. Yes, oh, finally, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know that the JJ Abrams said that he just completely missed? Yeah, that, that he said that's it? his biggest regret of the movie. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he didn't realize until. But everyone that's was like, that's incredible, though. At the same time, that that's going to be your biggest regret of a movie is where you just didn't yeah. make two characters hug. You've, yeah, you've done. Yeah, that's well. it. You know, you know, you're proud of what you've made. Yeah, no, that's absolutely. The case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, he's an idiot for missing it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> especially when it was on the same screen where they walked past yes. each other, as and well. no one mentioned yeah. it to him in the yeah. screenings. Do, you, do they why like? Why like, didn't Carrie Fisher think? You know what? I think my character should be yeah chewy. exactly yeah. not not this woman that i met 25 yeah. minutes ago and because of her person. my husband's dead in, in the hundreds yeah. of people yeah. the thousands of people that would have been involved in watching and making that film no one right up until release when hey jj uh so, Lair and, and chewy they're not gonna they're not gonna hug something they've never met before right yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this, yeah um yeah no and i and i loved the um there was a really nice r2d2 and and uh um luke skywalker scene on, on the millennium yeah. Falcon, which i just thought was really cool yeah. i just and that bit where he like he just he's like there's nothing that you can say or do that will make me do it and he's like i want to bet <laughs> and then just like can see 3 po is actually the sith lord oh yeah well oh, it could be maybe Ooh. yeah i mean there's always imagine been... that he takes his helmet off and it's just <laughs> It's like Snoke. It's yeah. like surprise. Yeah. There's always been Darth the theory, under there. There's always been a theory that Jar Jar Binks would be the Sith Lord. Yeah, oh, and there's evidence to support that theory. There is, there is yeah. But they just except in one of the new books that off, is canon. Um, Jar Jar Binks is like a he's street. Dead. He's a street performer. Street performer begging for he's scraps like, and on, on like the booze drugs. city streets he's yeah no like... he is he's he really is such a good ending for the character <laughs> they should have like a really noir like jar jar <laughs> sucking on the teeth of the blue milk <laughs> creature um so um, so yeah so uh, so yeah anything else any 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 final final i'm trying thoughts? to think because like, i always i always i know there's, there's so like, much i didn't say that yeah um uh, no, i like no. that film yeah I, it was it, it was it was definitely a good uh it was definitely a good film Oh, fucking Finn tried to save everyone by killing himself as well. Oh, yeah. He should have yeah. done. He should have done. Fucking Rose yeah, so came my, along. So my, my, my brother, did, my, I saw it with my brother and he, he didn't think that scene was very good because it was like just completely pointless. Like it was a whole like two, three minutes of day. him like flying towards uh, the thing. And he's like, oh my gosh. And you're like, oh, it's the emotional. And then she just flies in and knocks him out. Yeah. And, and also, what did we think to the, the Finn? And... I don't like Rose. I just didn't I, like her as a no, character. No, neither did I. And the acting was off. The, the dialogue, the, the, there was no chemistry between them. No, that's it. There wasn't. So I, I didn't think there was any chemistry at all. And I read one of the reviews this morning, and, and it's like kissed him at the end, and, and it's like, and they've gone, oh, the chemistry between Rose and Finn was really good. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Just, it was so forced. Yeah, and just like, the, nice, their nice whole. Pun. That was good. It when was. She, oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah, it was completely <laughs> deliberate. Yeah. Um, when she kissed him, I was like, oh, that was a that was a thing. And also, like, she said she loved him as well. Oh God, yeah. get out, get out! Yeah. We went to a casino all together. Yeah. Get over your and they met when see, he was trying to leave and then, the ship. Because yeah. that's what I'm thinking is maybe the third one might have a bit of a kind of a love triangle going on. Well, between Ray did Ray. kind of look a bit upset that he was stood no, next to her. I as think well. her face at that moment, I was like, she definitely doesn't care. Yeah, she was I just like, oh, that's they're nice just then. good friends. Who did uh, Ray hang out with at the end? Didn't she like go and speak to someone or do something? I don't know. Do I don't can't remember. Pretty maybe sure she Leia? did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, she went and hung out with Leia. Yeah, that's who her, her love interest is going to be in the next movie. You, you said hung out with, didn't she? No, I... no, like you know, like how Boyega and Rose kind of. Oh, like... she saw. Well, she she met. Um, oh, she, she met Poe, Poe didn't she? she? And yeah, like, Poe was. Yeah. I just like, yeah. I'm Rain. He's like, I know. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. So I just thought it was quite. That was quite good. Also, another yeah. point about Rose. Why was she flying the ships? Like out of all the rebels, why was she so much no, faster there was only as like well? Ten of them at this stage. But she stage. was so yeah. much. Like the thing is, like yeah, she, she had already turned to, off. She managed to catch up, and yeah, and it was very weird. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the, the the implication is that um, John Boyega runs past Kylo Ren and Luke having a, a lightsaber fight, right? Yes, yeah. He's dra- like, oh, drags, shit, drags yeah. her back. This yeah. is dope. Cool. I yeah. just, just like pulling her along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, Although I, it, it took him like twenty five minutes to fly there, but he managed yeah. to like drag her back in yeah. like yeah. like two I, and a half. That, I have to say that moment. I, I I touched on it earlier when when I, Luke walked out and I thought, oh, I was going to say and yeah. I thought he was going to go all whatever crazy and then like it, it just flicks to them in their little their command ship fire everything yeah just yeah. like kill that man destroy yeah. him like just keep. Yeah. Going and it's like because you think oh he's gonna go right here we go it was a weird little movement him. by the um fucking uh f- was it ATT ATT 
uh, at, 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 at 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't know if they it had a different name, obviously, because they, it probably, oh, does. probably, probably yeah. does. Yeah, but, they yeah, were heavily armored. They look yeah, like gorillas yeah. now as well. I don't know if yeah, you saw. They've got like hands yeah. that go backwards. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was like a weird little movement where he was like looked at it and he was like he did like a little stance. Yes, like, the, yeah, I was to, like, to, I was to, like to, really to shoot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And like, oh, none of the others did that. Actually, my and possibly my second best joke in the entire thing. No, definitely my second best joke was when uh, Kylie Ren was like, I, I, "Take me down to see him," and then Hux was like, "No, I'm not," and he just th- threw. Yeah, that was fucking thing. brilliant. And, and, then, just and, like, then yeah, pilot, and then pilot goes right away, sir. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't even get asked. He's <laughs> like, "Let's do this." Yeah, I know. I don't need to see what's yeah. happened. I know what's I happened. I heard someone hit a wall, and I'm going down. He's angry again. I do love that about Kylo Ren, though. The fact that he just like he just doesn't a fuck sometimes you know like when he got told that they, that they had escaped last in the last episode oh, or something, yes. and he just like obliterates he, that the thing, thing. Yeah, and then yeah. the two stormtroopers walk around the corner and they're like yeah. and they see like a, a, like a console come out the room they're like wait oh, no let's go yeah. back this yeah. way or when he, was in, when he was in the lift as well when he just like <laughs> beating the, the fuck, fuck out of things yeah. 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 Like, I love that about him that he's just like he's, he's just, got the anger just, like sheer anger but inside that's, that's of him that's the thing it is raw anger isn't yeah. it and it's like we, we haven't really because like with Anakin when in like the prequels when he was becoming Darth Vader he was all it was he was it was very mopey anger it was all very emotional well, and you know surrounded by yeah. sand well yeah, exactly. yeah but that, and sand just gets everywhere and that's what's <laughs> so bad about course, it yeah. yeah i don't like sand yeah whereas like <laughs> kylo ren is is just you're right yeah. he's just i angry. fucking love that he's just yeah. angry. he's just like a lost child but he's fucking angry do, do you as think well. he will um do you think he'll have a a, a turning around do you think he'll see I think the he's light gonna side beat the someone end? to a pulp but but do, you, but do you think he's gonna? You just want to see what with yeah, the butt of his lightsaber. Yeah. This is like fuck you, like, fuck you, fuck <laughs> you. I could turn this on and kill you sooner, but you I'm not getting up a pork and starts fucking beating <laughs> someone with it. But no, do you think he's gonna turn to the light at the end? Do you nah, think Ray's nah, gonna? Too. Not at all. No, no, he's no? gonna go to the end. He's gonna fucking die. You he's gonna go right to the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they're gonna meet in the middle and they're gonna. Nah, Ray's gonna die as well. Good. You reckon? Yeah. Hopefully. I don't think oh, that'll be I a don't. cool end. Yeah, I don't think they will. I she's gonna fucking. Gonna she's off. gonna like. I don't. I don't. Kill I, him and then I don't she's know. Gonna there'll, die be, as well. there'll be literally no Jedi's if that happened. The Jedi's also. Yeah, you got the little kid. Little kid with the ring. With but the, no, with but the no broom, one, yeah. But no one to teach them. No one to train them. But maybe yeah, that's where, books, maybe that's books, what they need. Right. No, they got Force Ghosts to teach them these days, so it's all right. Yeah, that's. You really didn't like that, did you? No, I just. I, it's too much liberty. Too no, but it's. But I don't think. No, it isn't because if you remember the um in Return of the Jedi. When after Luke leaves, there is a whole scene where uh, well, yeah, Obi Wan no, no, and there, but Yoda they just stood there. No, no, no. Just... When no, no, no. When Obi Wan and Yoda talk to each other about there's an, the fact that there's another Skywalker. But so, I mean, so that's Luke, an interaction Luke, Luke, between ghosts, though. No, no. Luke is going to leave, and they both turn up to persuade him to not leave. When, what at the end of that the, six? No, well, it's before. It's no, it's when he he comes back to Dagobah mm-hmm. to, when for, for when Yoda dies, and then he's leaving, and they both turn up. They both turn up in their ghost form, and they have a whole conversation. Yeah. Even the music even stops, and they then just continue their conversation. I don't remember that. Yeah, no, it's definitely that. I I had I had too no much. No, I I I. Well, quite I'm not. That. I'm not like that. That super angry about, it, but I just felt like in this instance it was just yeah. a bit. They could have been a bit more cut and dry with it. A yeah, bit, bit, bit sharper. I mean, it was just it was quite odd with Yoda just turning up at all, but it was. Yeah. I thought it did work quite well. So yeah, it was nice. Cool. Well, there you go. That's um, that's Star Wars. Uh, it, there's uh, eight out of nine episodes so far. So rate it out, out of, of eight. Twenty four out of eight. Uh, eight for eight episodes. Uh, I'm gonna rate it six out of eight. Six out of eight. Yeah, really. I can't. Okay. I, I don't know. My 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 fractions are all. Yeah, it's all off. You got me on eight. You know. I, I would. Maybe, I would maybe six and a half. Wow. Really. Seven. I'm gonna give eight. it. I'm gonna give it seven out of eight. Yeah. And only because I I didn't mind the fact that it was different. I didn't mind that at all, and I liked the the different ways that it went. But for me, there was just too many. It was, it was just too Disney-fied. There were just too many things that would been felt like they'd been pushed in for the entertainment. If you take out the sixty-five to seventy-five percent of the wine liners, it would have been yeah, it, it, and it, and it, and, yeah. and almost just completely get rid of Finn and Rose's entire story and yeah. just have them go. From, it would have been so much fucking better if it's just, just different... if it was just Finn and BB-8 going. Yeah. doing it yeah. because or, or he would even, have been discovering these things as he went, yeah, went along or, or as well or even just maybe go to the Casino Planet and get Del Toro and come back, but just cut out the whole. I don't think they needed the, the to do whole that whole slave chase bit thing. and the chase, yeah, yeah. and that was just that was the weakest part of the film. Just pick it? another yeah. planet and have a different theme, and yeah, that's else. it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm going to give it a seven out of eight for that reason. Yeah, I'm a six. Six, really? Yeah. Gosh, you both giving it. I thought. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, like, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. It's just uh, there's there's parts of it that I would have I wouldn't have put in there personally. Okay. Um. Sure. But I think seven out of eight is just a bit too much. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Yeah, fair. Um, yeah. So obviously excited about the Han Solo solo movie, which is in five months' time yeah, coming out in May. Wait. Oh shit! And That's um cool. and and obviously we're definitely excited for, for episode nine. Yeah. You know, Get to see Donnie G in the Han Solo movie. Yeah. Yeah. Donnie. Yeah. And um, child, and child G, G. So would you would you G. so far this second, um, second trilogy wave third trilogy um, what do we call well, it because third trilogy yeah the, the originals the original trilogy the originals the prequels, prequels and then you, what do you sequels, call sequels I guess I, I don't know the new calls the new the new calls that's right but then, what, so where do you think it's had, <laughs> where where do you think it's stacking up against I mean better than the prequels oh yeah for sure yeah yeah. Yeah. Well, you put it this yeah. way. Put it this way is like, um, fucking Force Awakens, Force Awakens better, better than, than Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Yeah. Is this better than Clone? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's true. Well, yeah. anything is better than Attack of the Clones. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Most Actually, I think, dude, I've, I still think I've only worse, seen about forty-five percent. I don't know. Phantom clones. Menace gets a lot of shit, but Jewel of the Fates is in that film, and that is. I forget it fuck. is. Yeah, but I d- I don't know what I think. Because the thing is, I really like the clone troopers in Attack of the Clones. Yeah, and that's and the, what the, the end of that film is great. And and you get to see Yoda with the lightsaber, that, which they, I just think yeah, is the, the coolest reason they thing did in the world. that. I mean, you come away from that film being like, "Fuck," and that was great. But then you think about it, and you're like, "Wait, no, fucking ninety five percent of that film was absolute horseshit." Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, it is. But yeah. It's a long film as well. There's the yeah. whole bit in the droid factory. Yeah, yeah. that's a forget. Always Camino. forget about that. Cam- yeah, no, I quite well. I quite like. The I like the way bits. it opens as well. Like it's like. Obi Wan and Anakin like noir esque in some fucking like yes yeah that Blade yeah that's city. true yeah I like that part that's cool. yeah anyway there we go that's Star Wars the Last Jedi that was our thoughts on it um, if you still want to go and see it uh, and you've listened to this and you haven't seen it then <laughs> <laughs> yeah what, basically what are you playing at? Spo- spoiler warning uh, but no there you go so uh, yeah that was um, that was the Last Jedi we'll look forward to the next one um, so let's uh, let's move on let's talk about what we've been watching reading playing and doing all that stuff and in no particular order David. Martin oh okay I just I um, I've seen The Disaster Artist the day oh, before yes. I saw Star Wars yeah. I literally I watched the film it was like maybe a 9 o'clock showing and I came out and everyone was going in to watch the midnight Star Wars oh right and sure. I was like see you later <laughs> um, but yeah no The Disaster Artist is a really good film really good yeah? film yeah if you've seen The Room you you would enjoy it if you've seen it I haven't seen The Room so would you, oh, would you still yeah, enjoy well, it I'd say watch The Room yeah? watch The Room first yeah I think I will do like that um, James Franco's Tommy Wiseau is fucking phenomenal apparently it is you can see yeah. it from the trailers but it is fucking phenomenal yeah um, he's gonna get something get yeah, some I, recognition I think he deserves for something for that because his performance is absolutely well that's the thing because like, he directed the movie as well so he was yeah. directing the movie that he was Starring, he was directing he, and starring in a movie that he was he, directing and starring that's in that's right, yeah. as well. And it's yeah. just like so many different layers to he, it. It's fucking yeah. cool. I mean, he kind of, you know, you he, can just imagine him on set just calling cut and they're like, wait, which, what are we yeah, who's Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he stayed in character the whole time as well. So, yes. Did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great film. It's a great film. This I kind of really want to buy a pair of uh, Tommy Rousseau boxes as well. Yeah. Because he sells boxes. He's got a whole yeah, like, no, he's like web page and jeans, isn't it? Sells sells jeans. He, I think he, he does. Yeah, he, he tells people that he gets his money from. But yeah, he said that he said he, no. He said that he um he made the money to make the room by from selling sick. pleather jackets. That's... Yeah. <laughs> pleather jackets. Yeah. Uh, that this film really goes into that as well. Like the three questions. It's like, where are you from? Where is where did all this money come from? And how old are you? Yeah. Well, the thing yeah. is, like, he left. The, he had like the the bill what up for like six months or something like that as well. Yeah. And that's like twenty. It's like five grand a month or something. Yeah. No. Like the, that. The, the the budget it said at the end of the film was like six million. Yeah. It was it. a horrendous six, amount of money. Yeah. And there's a the scene where Seth Rogen is like the uh, script supervisor or something. He goes to check cash a check, and he's like going in like, oh, this is gonna bounce. He hands it to the the cashier, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. It's gone through. And he's like, what? And he's like, yeah, no, like this this account is just a fucking money pit. Like, yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, I, I really want to know. Uh, yeah, I, I really want to really see. I think I might watch. Yeah, I think I'll probably watch the room and watch then, the room, or even the... just like watch like the highlights of the film if you can, because the whole film. I've seen. No, I, that's the thing. I've seen. I've seen bits of it, but yeah. I've seen. You know, I've seen the YouTube bits, the best bits of yeah, the room, yeah. but I've never seen <laughs> the best bits. But you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you know. Well, it's just crazy that that movie cost like six million dollars or something stupid like that, but they couldn't afford to have like actual pictures in the frames because if you look at all mm. the, the picture frames it's cutlery 
because it's just the stock photos that was in the frame. Yeah, which yeah. is which is you know there's one, there's yeah there's there's a showing that in Bristol or like some other places that they have it and like there's just boxes of like plastic cutlery. Whenever you see is a picture frame on screen, oh you yeah, have to the, throw, you throw the cutlery at the screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah sure. I went to yeah. the London screening of the room and like it was all that, and you're just sat there and like spoons just come flying. It's crazy as well like, that the like if you want a copy of the room. Like you want to buy an official copy, or you want to license the movie, you have to speak to Tommy Wiseau yeah, directly. Buy, yeah, yeah, he's never given up any distribution yeah. rights or anything. Like he's he owns every. But guy, it's, yeah. he's, he would have made so much fucking money from yeah. that, though, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. genius. Like, it, what, what's what's the, what's what was his original intention to make a brilliant movie and get a quick bit of cash, or make a movie that stands over time and just a continuous rolling of money? Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, like, he's really wait, what did he do? Like. Yeah. When, when you know and, so and, little and about the guy exactly, as well. and you probably yeah. never know so and does the film do a good job of putting that all across like in the I think yeah like some of the mystery is like lifted and like it shows him as more of a, a human right okay. um, than anything uh, obviously showing his emotions and like the screening scene is when people just start like literally hysterically laughing the entire audience is hysterically laughing at the premiere and he just like sort of goes out and he's like because he obviously like it portrays him to like Obviously, he wanted to make a really good film, film, sure. and sort of put that across, and like he put his heart and soul into the script and everything. Um, so it, it did a really good job of that. But I mean, the mystery when you he he comes at the end as well for a cameo, and you're like, oh man, this guy is just a fucking. You see him the way he is, and his whole like, I don't know, just his presence. You're just like he's just mysterious, and yeah. like that that isn't quite what Franco captures, but like in a very human way, he, do, he does injustice. Hmm. But it's it's definitely worth watching. Very good film. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, what about you, David? You've you been watching, playing, reading. Um, um, not much, probably. You've probably no, been packing been to busy, emigrate man. to I another country. I watching Making a Murderer as well. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Not like four or five episodes. There's a, apparently a second series of that coming out next year. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I've been story. so fucking busy. I haven't really been able to watch anything new. No. Uh, we should talk yeah. about um, uh, The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. Fucking so, cargo bit because yeah, I can't I can't believe it. Like it's uh, it's really interesting kind of way that they've gone down that. And and do you think this is it? Do you think he's gonna he's gonna die? He's gonna pop his clogs, or do you think he's they're gonna come up with some bullshit reason as well, to like, why cut one of his lungs out, or or he's or, or he's immune? He has or, a giant eye patch on his wrist. He's just gonna chest. get he's just gonna get ill and then no, nah, he's then, dead, mate. You reckon he's dead? Yeah, straight up dead. I still think that they're gonna pull something nah, out, straight out up the bag. So, you know, the beginning of this... Uh, sorry, Martin, I know you haven't watched this. No, so, no, it's fine. Whatever. Keep going. Martin um, fucking loves it. He's yeah, got, I am. Um, he's got a walking dead, dead tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a big so, fucking So, you know, um, at the end of... Um, at the beginning of this series, there's that uh, scene where the whole first episode, Rick is what we think is having flash forwards to mm-hmm. when he's all like... There's two. There's one where he where looks he's got like a giant glorious beard. Yeah, and and, and, like, and he's all God. happy, and he comes down in Alexandria, and they're all lovely, lovely, lovely. And then and he sees the family, and everyone's happy. And then like there's the other scene where he's like almost de- or looks like he's really strained. He's doing this Rick face and stuff. It's the Rick so, face. So yeah, so it looks so. There's a theory now that every that he's going to lose Michonne, he's going to lose Judith as well. And like that, that final scene of him is him just before he dies or after he's lost everything, flashing, thinking what could have been if he, he hadn't have die. been such a. No, but I, I'm just, but I'm just like he's I going to think... be seconds away from death and fight with me again. No, I don't. Know. It's then the gonna tiger's be... going to come along. No, the tiger's dead, man. Yeah, it's going to be a zombie, zombie tiger. tiger. Right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. What the but fuck? but it was. <laughs> but it, uh, but this but this series this this well half season has has been really good. Yeah. It's, it hasn't really let up. There was only kind of one slow episode, which was a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was just back to oh shit, here we it go. It was fucking Walking, cool in this episode as well when again. um, uh, Jesus was fucking elbowed and headbutted the microphone at the same time. Jesus. Um, impressive. Where um, where Rick turned up to the the savior's place and well, obviously they strolled up and he was like fuck everything's gone wrong yeah. there's no walkers and then they started shooting at him and he turned around to look at the garbage people yeah and they were just like fuck this yeah they're just running away it's like why did you even trust them yeah. like I just that, that... he's like don't retreat oh, yeah. Uh, oh, alright yeah. 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 yeah yeah you know anyway and then they turn up in a, and then fucking Carol turns up in a van yeah yeah, yeah really yeah that's and a, they were firing at the in there's the a lots of there's a lots of really convenient stuff that's been happening yeah. in this episode this season of so how long has Carol been following them for yeah no like, exactly yeah yeah and there was a bit where um they, the the saviors were building that big uh, the fat lady so that the big truck with all the speakers to pull mm. the, the zombies away and as it was driving away 
Yeah, um, fucking Daryl. Daryl. Daryl just happens yeah. to turn up with a dumpster and just see it and hit it. Yeah, it's yeah. like oh, okay, but it's been a, it's a good series though. Definitely one of the best, which is a real shame because the viewership's dropped by a couple of million because of yeah. it. So, oh well. But you know, anything else you've been watching or, or no? I haven't no. really had a chance to do. No, shit, no, I don't, I don't blame you. I mean, I, I'm to be honest with you, the Walking Dead was the what the big one that I wanted to, to really talk about, and I did rewatch the Force Awakens as well. Yeah, so did yeah, I. I rewatched um, it on like, in, in I Tuesday, Tuesday, I didn't do that, and I was kind of like, oh shit, what happened in that film? Uh, but, well, just watch New Hope, and then yeah, you'll exactly, you'll know. But exactly. that, but I didn't. The second time, the second rewatching of the Force Awakens, I really realised how much of the first film it is. Like, yeah, no, that's... like even the themes and everything, and then I was yeah. like, "Oh yeah, look, there's droids, and oh look, the droids actually got something in him as well that he needs to exactly. get to the yeah. rebels yeah, and yeah. stuff yeah. like that." And like the whole, the whole thing is just it's just a carbon the first copy, film, but here's a yeah. different set of characters. But but I, but I always, I, I a lot, lots of people have criticised it for that, but I actually think it's quite clever how that's done as well because yeah. it's yeah. like J.J. Abrams has been able to make a, a completely, a completely original, a completely fresh feeling yeah. film with new characters and everything it's just a difference it's the same starting off point but you can go to a different direction which yeah. is what they've done with but, the but, but, well. but i just think that's i just think it's really clever in a yeah. in a and i don't i don't really begrudge it for telling the same story because of it because i quite appreciate yeah. the it's a good story at the end yeah well it, exactly it is it's you know fine. so and yeah. I, yeah i mean i i was going, coming into this one thinking like if they do the same again then then i'm out really but what they've done is they they know exactly what they're doing but, but that's what and that's what i really liked about so we've got I know we were ready to go, but go back to the last to Jedi. Final thoughts is that's so what I bad. really liked. Yeah, <laughs> is that they um, is that you think that they're going to tell the same story right yeah, at the beginning? Yeah. You're like, oh my god, here like, it goes. Sort of and, and even face, as like, soon as the mm. scroll finished, my brother turned to me and was like, "Well, that sounds familiar." And I was like, "They, they, they can't do this. They, it's not, they're not going to do this again." And then they don't, and you're yeah, like, "Oh, okay, yeah. that's good." But it just felt like. Yeah, yeah that's I why quite... I, I like this film because the first one was about sort of playing up to your expectations. This one was just about yeah. setting up and going in a completely di- different direction. I was surprised there was no team. Avengers trailer at the beginning though, as well. That's, I was really surprised yeah. at that, but it was all the family trailers instead. Yeah. So yeah, I, Black, Panther. Black Panther was there. Yeah, mm. that was really odd, wasn't what it? What was yeah. that film? There was a film that looked really good. Oh shit! What was that film? The oh. Hugh Jackman one. Uh, the greatest no. show. The well, they music. played it three times. It's, it's the no, the Tom yeah. Hanks one. That's, it's Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks one uh, about the uh, publishing the story in the Washington. Post. Oh, so th- we didn't the see that trailer, but no, I, we didn't I, get that one. But I saw that trailer when I went to go to the cinema last time. So oh, yeah, it looks really good. Looks like a, a, a classic. Yeah, Hanks. A, a, and it's Spielberg as well. So yeah, that Meryl kind Street of political well. thriller thing about yeah. the New York Times publishing um, is a, the story about the Vietnam War and that's it. I think it yeah. was Lai disaster or something. Yeah, but yeah, no, that's the only trailer that I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Um. Anyway, okay. Well, I, I think that's 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 pretty much the show. Uh. So, um, the next week's show is the Geek Station End of Year Awards, which we've got um, some big trophies to give out. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh. Martin's taking the lead on that one. Oh, he's, uh, the he's got the most. He's got all the answers. I and, get to sit in your chair as well. Uh. Nope. That's, nope. No, nope. that's not going to happen. Nope. Nope. Nope, well, not my not. chair. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking um, and then that, and then that will be the last one of the year, and it will also be David's last podcast for a while because he's uh, he's going to America. But you know, whatever. We'll, Up we'll... and leaving. Yeah. Fucking. Oh, yeah. You, you you in the the episode after the next one, you might just hear faint crying from Sin and Martin. <laughs> faint. Faint. A oh, wailing. Sorry. Yeah, wailing. wailing. There you go. Yeah. 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 Loud and proud, man. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but that's that's next time. So uh, make sure you tune into that. If you're listening to this on the, on the YouTubes, don't forget to uh, give us a like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, if you're listening to this on iTunes, it would be amazing if you give us a review. Mm. Uh, as always, Martin has pledged to oh, yeah, sing someone did, any... Someone did leave a review. Someone left oh. a review. It said, to David, and it was just the, the lyrics to James Blunt's Goodbye, My Lover. <laughs> was it actually? Me. No, it's not left. Uh, that was no. a joke. That oh, was a okay. Joke. No. We don't have any reviews. <laughs> All right, don't Christ. rub it in. Jeez. <laughs> if you want to be the first person to leave a review, then that would be fantastic. Uh, you can do so. Uh, you can find me uh, and also the um, the the video. I send the, you a the... copy of Transformers on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, the uh, also you can find the the feed for all the videos and stuff on my Twitter, which is uh, at Mr. Uh, Sin Cine. Uh, David and Martin, where can they find each of you? Uh, you can find me at David TGS. And also myself at Twitter. Marto TGS. Um, why is it Marto? Um, why is it Marto? Because <laughs> let me tell you. Let Here me tell we go. You, let me regal tales of why <laughs> this is Marto TGS. Because Martin TGS was taken. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, no it's not though. 
I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Um, you can also find us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash The Geek Station. Um, don't forget to check, uh, check us out there. Um, and I suppose the only thing to say for this week is, is it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Sin. Sorry, I was fucking miles away then. It's goodbye from me. Martin. What? Oh <laughs> my gosh. Shit. Just anyway, let's look, just we'll see you next week. The That's just right. Yeah, let's do the whole thing again. Woo! See you next Christ, week. Bye. 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 Fuck. Why do you always have to say fuck at the end of every episode? Yeah, fuck.